So hey what's going on everyone, in this tutorial we'll explore the process of creating and cutting its notes application using Flutter. This notes application will leverage the power of cloud storage by saving all your notes directly into your Firebase. This means that your notes will be accessible from anywhere as long as you are logged in into the same account and you won't have to worry about losing your notes even if you delete the app. So without any further ado, let's dive into the exciting world of Flutter and Firebase and start building our next level notes application. The first step is to integrate Firebase into your Flutter project. So for that, let me create a Firebase project and configure the necessary settings such as Android package name and app nickname. Once you have completed these steps, you will be able to download the necessary configuration file which is Google service.json. It is important to ensure that this file is placed within the app folder of your Flutter project. After this, it is crucial to make the necessary changes to the build.gradle file both at project level and within the app folder in order to fully utilize Firebase within your Flutter project. By completing these steps, you'll be well on your way to harnessing the power of Firebase in your Flutter application. Now, let's head over to the main.dot file. In main.dot file, let's create a main function and let's define widgets Flutter binding, which initializes the framework. The Flutter Firebase is then initialized, and finally, the main app is run. In my class app, it extends a stateless widget and overrides the build method, which returns the get material app widget. Get material app is a material design based Flutter widget, which is the root of the widget tree in a material application. It has several parameters such as debug, show check mode, banner, title, theme, dark theme, theme mode, and home, which controls the overall look and feel of the application. In theme.dotfile, we're going to define a class called themes with two fields, light theme and dark theme. These two fields represent two different themes that can be applied to the Flutter app. In root.dotfile, we're going to define a Flutter widget class named root that uses the get package to access an instance of auth controller. This root class extends stateless widgets and overrides the build method. This method is responsible for rendering the widget. The build method uses OBX widget to wrap the logic that decides which page to display based on user's authentication status. The OBX widget will automatically listen for changes in authentication status and read on the widget whenever the status changes. If the user is authenticated, that is auth controller user.uid is not null, the home page widget is written. If the user is not authenticated, the login widget is written. In database.dot file, we are going to define a class named database which provides functionality for managing data for a note taking app in a Cloud Firestore database. Let's create a new method called create new user. This method creates a new user document in the users collection. It takes in a user model object as an argument and sets the field ID, name, and email ID in the document. It returns a future that completes with a boolean indicating whether the user was successfully created. Let's create a new method called get user. This method retrieves the data for a user from the user's collection. It takes in the user's UID as an argument and returns a future that completes within a user model's object. Let's create a new method called add node. This method adds a new node to the node's collection for a specific user. It takes in the user's UID, the node's title, and the node's body as arguments. The method generates a unique ID for the node using the UUID package and sets the field ID, title, body, and creation date in the node document. Let's create a new method called update node. This method updates an existing node in the node's collection for a specific user. It takes in the user's UID, the node's title, the node's body, and the node's ID as arguments. The method updates the field's title, body, and creation date in the node's document. Let's create a new method called delete. This method deletes a node from the node's collection for a specific user. It takes in the user's UID and the node's ID as arguments. Let's create a new method called node stream. This method returns a stream of list of node model objects for the nodes of a specific user. The stream is created by listening to the changes in the node's collection for a specific user and orders the nodes by creation date in descending order. The map function transforms a query snapshot from the stream into a list of node model objects. In user.dotfile, I'm going to create a class named user model that represents the data model of a user in the application. The class has three instance variables, ID, name, and email, which corresponds to the user's ID, name, and email. The class also has a constructor for the user model, which allows you to create a new instance of the class and set its ID, name, and email values. The class also has a factory constructor that creates an instance of the user model class from a document snapshot object. This constructor takes a document snapshot object as a parameter and initializes the ID, name, and email fields within the values retrieved from the document snapshot using the square bracket notation. In node model dot dot, this class is used to represent a node and its properties. The class is importing Cloud Firestore package from Dart, which provides a way to interact with Firebase Firestore, a cloud-based NoSQL database. The class has two constructor methods, which are NoteModel.FromDocumentSnapshot and NoteModel.FromJSON. 
In node model dot from document snapshot constructor, we'll create a node model object from a document snapshot object. A document snapshot object represents a single document in Firebase Firestore and provides access to the data in the document. In node model dot from JSON constructor, we'll create a node model object from a JSON like map. Both constructors are used to set the properties of a node model object. The from document snapshot constructor retrieves the value for the properties from the document snapshot object. The from.json constructor retrieves the value for the properties from the map. In user control dot dot, first we'll import the user model class from the user dot dot file and also import the git library which is a powerful state management solution for Flutter applications. Next, it declares a class named user controller which extends the get x controller class provided by the get library. This class serves as a controller for the user model object which will store information about the user. The class declares a reactive property user model of type Rx user model and initializes it with a new instance of user model. The Rx type is provided by the git library and allows us to create reactive variables that can be observed for changes and used to automatically update UI elements. The class also defines a getter and setter for the user properties, which provides access to the underlying reactive variables. The setter also allows us to update the user model object stored in the user model variable, while the getter allows us to retrieve the current value of user model. Finally, the class has a clear method which sets the value of a user model to a new empty and user model instance effectively clearing all the data stored in the user model object. In node controller dot first we'll define a node controller class that extends the get x controller class from the get package. The purpose of this class is to provide a convenient way to manage a list of node model objects as well as the provided properties to hold the text input controllers for editing the, a node's title and body. The node controller class also provides on init and get nodes which provides a centralized and reactive way to manage the list of nodes and related text input controllers. In auth controller dot dot, we'll define an auth controller class that extends git x controller from the git package. This class is responsible for handling authentication related tasks such as creating a new user, logging in and signing out. Note that this class also uses the user controller class and the database class to access the user data and the database respectively. I'll skip the designing part and I had completed that already. Now with that that's it, you should see that app should now be working and you can add nodes and save them in your cloud database using Firestore. You can also find the nodes in your Firebase. With that said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.